Hey guys, Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, DetailJuice.com, and Gary Dean Detailing. Um, as you can see, I'm not working with the best lighting today. Um, I might end up putting a couple more lights up. There we go. Um, I'm working on this charger today. Today's Monday. On Friday we came in, we got it pretty much all taped up, and we got the wash and the clay bar done, and then I applied the prep product, but because it's been sitting for a couple days and uh, I just blew out the shop, I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down again with isopropyl alcohol and distilled water. I like a so the way I do that is I, I buy only 91% isopropyl alcohol or I buy the 99% on Amazon. But generally, I buy it in uh, six packs like this from Sam's Club, which I have found that to be the cheapest way to buy the isopropyl alcohol. But on Amazon, um, on Amazon, I have been ordering these... 99% bottles but how I like to mix my prep wipe uh, right before you go to apply the VersaCoat you want to do a prep wipe now you will wipe with the prep solution um, which the alcohol doesn't remove the primer it just smooths it out and you'll see what I mean uh, let me show you so this is the prep product okay oh you can I can feel that this has way too much crud on it to just spray it so what I'm gonna have to do is wipe it down and then I just buy uh, tack cloths on Amazon generally um, I will be carrying everything you need for VersaCoat 13 at infinitycustomworks.com and that's W-O-R-X um, but for today we're going to use this Duragold one I have had okay success with that brand um, I have switched to 3M tape exclusively because this LeChamp tape on Amazon leaves residue everywhere it is not a good deal so um, where we're at today is this thing is getting a pretty unique color shift. I'm going to have to spray it in black first. And I'll show you how I mix that up and all the things uh, before we get rolling. But I wanted to show you the car before I did anything with it other than all the prep. So I'm going to I'm going to add so you want to run the isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle at 30%, 91% alcohol. So a good rule of thumb, and this is, this is my bottle already pre-mixed. I use these sprayers. Um, I have found that of every sp sprayer on the face of the planet that I have tried, these Home Depot Zep spray, and I've tried to buy these to sell them to you guys, but there's nothing like these right here these are my absolute favorite sprayers i am on the quest to find some that work as well um, i have not yet but so the cool part about these sprayers is you want basically 30 percent to 70 percent um, you could go as high as 40 percent. i wouldn't go any higher than that um, or you'll get streaks and that kind of thing so out of a out of 30 so there's three tens and 30, so you take 30% times three, so three times three is nine, so you put nine ounces, so just under the 10 ounce. In fact, to make 32 ounces, you may as well put 10 ounces of alcohol in your sprayer and fill it up to 32 ounces, about right there, and you would be pretty much right on with your mix. So 30%, 91% or 30%, 99%, that obviously um, that additional 9% or 8% uh, is going to up your mixture. But as long as you don't uh, get into the 50% mixture, you're fine. So 
uh, any anything under 50% should be pretty good. Um, our conditions today are not exactly ideal, but also will work fine. Uh, when it's hot like this, 93 degrees in my shop, we are going to want to reduce a little bit less. Um, I'm not real worried about the reduction on the black coat. Uh, I will generally run 50-50 with the acetone and the VC-13 for the black coat because again, we're just trying to lay down some color. We want the base to be black so that when we put the pearls on top, you get the absolute best shimmering effect with a black base every time. So we're gonna spray the black then I'm gonna under reduce the pearl coat to see if I can uh, just leave it with the next coat and no additional coat. If not, I will then let it dry for about 45 minutes. Uh, that gives it sufficient time to flow out, reduce orange peel and all of that. And then after that, I'll hit it with the third coat of just VC-13 uh, at about 70-30, so 70% uh, VC-13 to 30% acetone um, is how I'll pro probably shoot the final gloss coat, but I'm gonna try to just do it in two coats. One coat of black, one coat of pearls, a little bit under reduced to get all the gloss we can. So I'm gonna wipe off all the residue from the primer and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up to spray. I got my spray gun chilling right here. We're all pressurized. Let me tell you, this afterburner setup, this pipe was incredibly hot coming out of the pump versus the, the pipe going into the tank. I literally could hold on to this while it was pumping but not that one. This was incredibly hot going into that radiator, but it comes out. Well, my measurements with this uh, temp gun last week was uh, about 23 degrees cooler. Today, I was able to touch this pipe, but not this pipe. So that tells me that it might have been a little bit cooler than the other day. I'm still smelling some of the flux. Uh, hopefully that'll all burn off and out and all the things. Got a little bit of moisture there. No moisture there. And as you go down, this is my first copper moisture tap. No moisture at all from there. Also, no moisture here. So that's good. No moisture is a good thing. And then I've got it uh, on, obviously. And then I've got my T to my hose reel and to my 35 foot section of 3 8 inch Flexzilla hose with my Flexzilla oversized adapters. And uh, I've got my gun set up to 28 PSI. So I'm gonna get the prep finished and then I will bring you back when I'm mixing up some VC-13. Well, I'm doing a little prep wiping. I just noticed that the bumpers have been repainted and whoever repainted them painted right over his uh, license plate light. Crazy, right? Uh, I also noticed the front bumper has been repainted as well. It's got some nastiness right there on the edges and there's a tape line right here at the edge and right there where that lumpiness is anyway back to work
right, boys and girls, this red charger is now a black charger. Now, yes, it looks a little inconsistent. I just do this pretty fast for this, uh, basically for the base coat, the black. This is the tinted Versa Coat 13. So we got the whole car black. Yes, there's some dry spots. Yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna cover up everything with the pearls. Uh, we are doing a, it's like, um, it almost looks like fire uh, color shift. I'll show it to you uh, as I start to apply it. I'm gonna give this about 20 more minutes to flash. Uh, to dry, basically. You always wanna test in an area where the tape is. This is dry already, but I wanna give it a little bit of time. This big old car, I use literally 42 ounces of Versicoat 13 to make this car black. So I used a little bit more than normal. Um, that absolutely was because I tried to go chintzy with the black tent. And literally, I should have done double the black tint on half the car. So it is absolutely realistic that you can coat this whole car with 32 ounces of product. So that's pretty even co coverage. It's black through and through. Um, I don't really have any light areas. There's a few here and there, but it's not going to be affected. I mean, you can see just a little bit of red popping through there, but no big deal. That's dark enough where the pearls um, will make it look really nice. Um, all right, that, I was hoping that wouldn't just pop all out. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and tape that back down. But I did this jam and I did underneath where the spoiler is on both sides. So, all right, that's the base. So we're gonna give it about 20 more minutes. It's been about, about 10 minutes since I finished up. Give it about 30 minutes of cure between coats. Again, your black base does not have to be super fantastic. You just have to have even coverage that's what's important and so that's what we have here when we start putting the pearls on I'm not going to reduce it as much uh, like I mentioned it's super hot in here and uh, when I showed you before it was 93 it is now damn near 97 degrees in this shop so in order for the Versico 13 to flow out properly with this heat I'm going to not put as much acetone in it. Acetone makes the solution dry up really fast. It is a very quick drying solvent, acetone is. So, you can see my fans are putting in some work. These filters have trapped in all the air. I bought four more fans. I didn't get the pink, one, the purple ones this time because I, I saved literally sixty dollars on four of them by buying the white ones so i bought white ones and moving forward i'll have one for this this door and i'm absolutely going to put plastic on these rafters and then hang all my lights so a little work to do left in here but there's your base coat looks good i'm going to give it 20 and come back so we'll see you uh very shortly all right, I was about to throw this in the gun and get rolling, but I wanted to show you guys this uh, situation first. This is my mix of very large pearls. I actually have to use a 2.0 nozzle to spray them. So uh, let's get busy. Pearls.
All right, guys, so the charger is done. Looks pretty sick. I gotta touch up a couple spots, but for the most part, it's done. Doesn't it look awesome? That was a red charger, by the way. <laughs> Looks pretty dope. I like the color shift. Looks awesome. So, that's that. It looks sick. It's kind of dark on this side. You can't really see what's going on. So that's why I'm showing you the sides that are in the sun. And I'm walking around it so many times so you can see that color shift. Looks pretty dang hot to me. All right, peeps. That's that. Another one in the books. Another one. That's a wrap. So that is uh, Versacote 13 with some super shift metallic flakes. It's a little different than the pearls. The pearls are a smaller uh, granule. Uh, these metallics, it's about a 0 0.015. If you know your sizes for metallics, it's a pretty, pretty large chunk. I had to shoot it on there with a 2.0 millimeter tip, uh, which is pretty big, uh, really. Next time I go at this, I'll do a 2.5 millimeter tip because these chunks are massive. So I um, was able to get it all done. It looks good. I've done 15 color shift slash pearl Versacote 13 jobs. We've done probably 30 or 40 boats uh, with just the clear. Uh, I did my boat, as you guys probably remember, over there in the color shift. I'll show you my blazer. I just got done with the brake calipers and uh, painting the frame and that kind of thing. So I got to do a little bit of mechanical work on it and then install the audio and then some interior, interior panels and the exterior are going to get a super cool color shift. But uh, you may remember I did my boat couple months ago still looks awesome I mean why would it not <laughs> uh, so got that nice aquatic looking color shift on my boat and then like I said the blazer will have a color shift uh, just because I dig them and my shop truck is getting redone as well so that's that. Thank you guys for watching these videos. If you're interested in having something Versacote 13 whether you just want to add a coat of it for protection uh, on your car, boat, RV, motorcycle, whatever, or you want to add some custom pearls to completely change the look like this, either way, I got you covered. I am the owner of the product, the formula, all of that. I am the only installer in the state of Florida right this second. And um, this product, Versacote 13, was designed specifically to basically bring old oxidized boats back to life without having to polish them. So the entire purpose of Versacote 13 was always the marine industry. And it works awesome for that. But as you can see, oh, we got some sun. Let's check. See this shift with lots of sun. Oh, goodness. Look at that. So now you can see it in the sun. It looks pretty dope. I like how you get to this angle and you start seeing some of that green and gold popping out. Looks good. I like it. Very happy with it how it turned out. I gotta wipe the windows and stuff, but. Anyway, so Versico 13 was designed for boats. It is a marine grade product, but it is incredibly versatile, which is why it's called Versa Coat, versatile coating. Um, and we can put it on anything. It's an acrylic 
base so it literally will stick to whatever you want to put it on so boats and rvs if you've got a really chalky nasty oxidized rv or boat um, you can opt to have us spray the verse coat 13 on your boat it lasts indefinitely which means if you don't take it off it's not going to go anywhere and uh basically fixes your problem uh, we also offer a lifetime warranty on the product if you agree to our maintenance program which is just once a year and we do a thorough clean uh, of your rv or vessel and touch up any spots annually that you may need touched up or or whatever and so that's the biggest benefit to that situation is um basically just getting more work done and that's it thank you guys for watching these videos i appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble and uh thanks again guys for supporting the channel supporting what i'm doing i appreciate you check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs uh, you can find Versacoat 13 on the site to do it yourself. Uh, if you've got questions for me, 813-846-4406. Have a great day, guys.